In today's Number Corner lesson, we will be investigating how to write numbers in standard form and expanded form, and we will be completing a Number Corner student book page. Let's go ahead and turn over two more markers today, September 15 and September 16. What do we find? We find that we've got the scroll and then six heel bones and five staffs for September 15. And when we look at September 16th, we've added an additional heel bone and another staff to make seven heel bones. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and six staffs total, along with that one scroll that showed up on day 10. Take a look at our observations chart. We've been adding on to it each day here in the classroom so that now it looks like this. What is one observation you can make with the way we've been recording it? Here's an example observation that may help you think of one of your own. I noticed that for September 4th, four heel bones and four staffs is 44. What else do you notice? Pause the video now and make an observation statement of your own in the comments below. We will need to update it for the next two markers that we turned over today. So that observation grid will be updated when you come to school next. Did anyone notice that each day so far has been a multiple of 11? What do I mean by that? Well, 11 times one or one times 11 is 11. Two times two or two times 11 is 22. 3 times 11 is 33, 4 times 11 is 44, and so on. A great way to remember the multiples of 11 is whatever is being multiplied by 11 is just doubled with digits. That works up to 99. But then we have the multiples continue on to 110 and 132. But even the numbers at the bottom, like 132, 143, 154, those are all products or answers of multiplication facts that have a factor of 11 too. They're just ones we aren't going to commit to memory this year. So you can see that 12 times 11 is 132, 13 times 11 is 143, and 14 times 11 is 154. Remember, a multiple of a number is a product of that number. We learned that a product is the answer to a multiplication problem. So the multiples of five are five, 10, 15, 20, 25. We've been working with these ancient Egyptian numerals for a while. We have the number 7,294. We know that the lotus flower is equivalent to a thousand. So I have seven lotus flowers to show the thousands place. We know that the scroll is equivalent to a hundred. Two scrolls shows 200. The heel bone we know is 10. There are nine tens, so nine heel bones to represent 90 and then four staffs. Let's review how to write numbers in expanded form from them. Expanded form means we are expanding the way we write the number, just like a rubber band expands. Taking that same number, 7,294, in expanded form shows the value of each digit. The first digit is in the thousands place, so we have 7,000 plus 2 in the hundreds place, so we add 200. Then we have a nine in the tens place. So we add 90. And finally, four in the ones place is plus four. That's how to write 7,294 in expanded form. Turn to page two in your number corner book. Take a minute to review the page and re read the directions. The ancient Egyptian system of numerals is additive. Once you learn the symbols, all you have to do is add their values together. Write an addition equation in modern numbers to show the value of each of these ancient numbers. In the last box, draw your own Egyptian number. And since we don't have a classmate in school to write an equation to show its value, I want you to play both parts for that last one. Draw it and then write it out too. Let's do the first one together. We have two lotus flowers, which represent a thousand each. So 2,000 plus four scrolls, which is 400, three heel bones is plus 30, and six staffs is six ones. So 2,000 plus 400 plus 30 plus six equals 2,436. 
Now you do the rest of the page on your own and be prepared to share your creative number with the class for your number eight later in the week. Bye guys.